Chess Friends, a new chess engine arrived named Jenny, developed by Arian Parek, he is playing chess on chess.com computer event, and today I played with Jenny Chess Engine, Chess Guys, tell me if you get a genie and have three wishes what would you ask for from the genie, tell me in the comments. And Chess Friends, this is your today's puzzle, solve it and write answer in the comments, let's go, I started with e4, e6, French defense, d4 by me, Jenny played d5, knight goes to c3, knight on f6, bishop goes to g5, threatening to play e5, sir bishop e7, I pushed the e pawn, in this position, the knight can go there or knight on e4, but Jenny backs his knight, thinking, ho, 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 I am Jenny, I can do anything I want like in fairy tales, no, you can't beat me in chess, because I am stockfish. Owner of Stockfish Channel, and Chess Friends, if you haven't subscribed our channel yet then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bishop back to e3, b6, Queen goes to g4, targeting on this pawn, so, Jenny pushed the pawn, he wants to play h5, I played h4, threatening to play h5, Jenny pushed the h-pawn, Queen back to g3, Bishop goes to a6, I take the a6 Bishop, Knight takes Bishop, we have Knight f3, Knight comes to b4, threatening to give a fork, and you know what. As an intermediate level looks like castle is the best move here, but if you do castle long, then you will lose opportunity to attack black on queen's side, black will play normally, queen here, then castle, look at me, remember my strategy, if you have a great pawn structure with more space, then you have a good opportunity to attack the opponent's king where he castle, so, in this position, I played rook to c1, queen up to d7, I played short castle to expand my queenside pawn to start attacks. Bishop back to d8, you might think why the bishop is retreats, but the problem is that the bishop is very passive no square to go, however black could play knight here to go f5 square, I played bishop to g5, bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop, knight goes to h6, queen up to f4, knight gets a good square, rook slides to d1, queen to e7, I played a3, knight back to c6, b4, expanding queenside as I told you, queen d7, I move up my rook, knight back to e7, we have f3, a5, b5. Because this position is closed so Jenny backs his knight to use that square for the other knight, and he can play castle, rook goes to b1, my every moves are reasonable, I put my rook on b-file to support the b-pawn and start future attacks, Jenny played castle, knight goes to a4, I want to play queen back to d2, rook here, and a knight sacrifice on e5 square, we have knight c5, rook c3, threatening to take pawn, pawn can't take knight because it's pinned, so, Jenny moved up his king, rook goes to c3, knight back to e7, in this position, I played knight c5, forking the king and queen, you have to take it which Jenny did in the game, pawn takes, knight, d takes c5, because of this pawn move. I get the fourth rank to slide my queen over, then start attacks, if the queen arrive there then it will be devastating for you, check, king backs, then push the pawn, threatening a check, king slides then push the b pawn which will be checkmate, ha ha ha, so, in this position Jenny played queen back to e8, but best move was to play rook b8, he is the new chess engine, he doesn't know about stockfish youtube channel, that's why he is making mistake, ok, let me sacrifice my other knight, but you know what, greatest of great chess player doesn't sacrifice a piece for no reason, behind the knight sacrifice, I am threatening checkmate, let me show you how, if you take the knight, then I will play queen a4, rook slides to a8, rook goes to a6, threatening to play c6, let me show you, rook here, then c6 check, king b8 is mate in 5, so if knight takes pawn happen, then takes check, king takes, queen b5 check, here, then it will be checkmate, so, back to the position, here, if you play rook takes rook, then check, king takes. The queen is undefended now, I will take the queen, then I will checkmate you which is about 5 moves, so, on this position, Jenny reads my mind, and he played rook a8, knight back to f6, queen slides, queen goes to a4, knight f5, rook a6, threatening to give a check, if you play very ordinary move for example, rook g8, 
then c6, king back, rook takes, king takes, queen takes, here, b6, threatening to play pawn takes checkmate which will be a checkmate by three pieces, so pawn takes b6, queen check, here, check, blocks, takes. And it will be checkmate, so, in this position, Jenny takes the rook, pawn takes check, taking the pawn isn't good, let me show you why, if king takes pawn happen, then queen check, here, takes, blocks, queen takes, king backs, knight d7, threatening to play rook check, takes, checkmate, so knight here to protect it, knight check, takes, rook takes, it will be a checkmate, rook b8, check, blocks, takes and checkmate, so, back to the position, Jenny played king a8, rook goes to b7, threatening to play b6, knight here, takes, knight sacrifice on b6, takes, takes, checkmating threat, so, in this position, Jenny pushed his pawn because he is out of moves, c6, takes, c4, d4, queen here, d3, threatening to deliver checkmate, if you think knight takes pawn, knight takes, then queen takes knight, queen slides, rook takes, king to b8, then queen b7 will be mate, so, in this position, we have queen b8, knight goes to d7, d2, knight takes, you can't take it because of this, so Jenny gives a queen check, king here, knight backs to c8 to protect this. Knight d7, threatening rook b8 checkmate, so, we have knight b6, queen sacrifice on b6 square, because after queen check, takes, knight check, king here, check here, pawn takes, knight takes, and this is checkmate. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching, subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.